What else should I say? <laughs> <laughs> dating for eight and a half years. Honestly, I'm the one who does most of the cooking. I would say that I am the better cook, but yeah, actually George is a great cook. Before Jasmine, I did cook a lot when I was living on my own. I would cook pretty much every night and I do really enjoy cooking. He doesn't really measure things, but it's still really delicious. That's what makes me a good cook. Oh, that's what makes me a good cook too. Yeah, go team. Go team. I think it's gonna be so easy to guess <laughs> what George made. If you don't get it right, let's add some steaks to this. <gasps> Sushi for a week. That's. That's good for you. Good luck, babe. All right, oh, whoa. So to make the competition more fair, I've chosen three ingredients that each chef must use, which are udon, kimchi, and butter. Because these three ingredients already make up a very simple recipe that I actually enjoy, I also feel like it puts a parameter around what they can make. George has some pretty tough competition. First, there's Katie, who I cook with often. I've eaten a lot of the dishes she's made, not a single one that I don't like. Mimo, she comes from an extraordinary pastry background. Her dishes are bound to look flawless. George has worked with these ingredients very, very often. I really expect him to hit it out of the park. Today I'm making Jasmine a kimchi udon noodle stir fry. Let's go ahead and begin. So I'm starting with a little bit of olive oil because I'm gonna fry some garlic. So wait for that to get to temperature. I'm just gonna add in my garlic now. And I'm just gonna lightly, not even brown them. Jasmine and I are both huge garlic lovers. And now that the garlic is pretty much transparent, I'm just gonna add in this kimchi. And I'm using tongs so that I'm only grabbing the kimchi itself and I'm saving the juice for later. So I know Jasmine loves kimchi and she loves a lot of it. Uh, now I'm going to add in a little bit more oil and my beef brisket. I chose beef brisket for this dish because I wanted to add a little bit of meat to it. And I personally love beef brisket. I'm, I'm a little bit concerned that I'm gonna make a Frankenstein dish for Jasmine because she grew up eating Korean food, I didn't. In a way, I don't want to take it too far from what she's used to, but I do want to kind of give it my own natural splash. So the beef is a little bit pink now, which means it's time to move on to the next stage. Now I'm adding in the corn. I don't know if this is a very traditional Korean recipe, but it just adds that really great balance to the dish because it adds a sweetness to it. And Jasmine loves corn. So now that we've got the three main ingredients all ready and cooked up, we're just gonna add in the wet ingredients. So that's gonna be my Kewpie mayo here. So the Kewpie mayo is a little bit different from just regular mayo. It's a Japanese mayonnaise, which means it's a little bit sweeter. It's a little bit tartar. The next thing I'm gonna add is the gochujang. Gochujang is a Korean chili paste. Uh, it's really delicious. Delicious. I'm also gonna be adding this butter. I'm not gonna use the entire thing. She doesn't really love butter. And then the last of the wet ingredients is gonna be the leftover kimchi juice. So this is what we saved earlier. I'm just gonna give this a nice little stir. Now I got a pack of the frozen udon noodles and uh, the udon noodles are actually already cooked. So you don't need to necessarily cook them, but what I like to do is I like to just thaw them in a bowl of water and that way the noodles are gonna separate. We're just gonna let the udon noodles cook for a little bit. And once they're ready, I'm gonna give this a little bit of a try. Definitely needs a good bit more gochujang, but I think after this, it should be good. I'm not sure if I'm gonna win this, guys. So right now I'm adding in some uh, crushed black pepper because I feel like the dish needed a little bit of that spice that wasn't coming from the gochujang. Taste test number two. Oh, yes. So next up, we're gonna add in this shredded mozzarella cheese. And this is more of a new uh, Korean ingredient. I don't think that mozzarella cheese is necessarily very traditional either. While I'm waiting for this mozzarella cheese to melt, I'm just gonna add in this sliced scallion to give it that nice little pop of color. This is coming along nicely. The cheese is starting to get nice and melty. Now the tricky part is gonna be when I plate it because I am an awful plater. All right, here comes plating time, baby. I got this, oh my God, my mom raised a winner. No, she raised a loser. Oh. Mom, you still love me, right? Some finishing touches with a little bit more cheese just on top because I kind of flipped everything upside down. A little bit more scallion. And lastly, this is very optional. I'm just adding in a little bit of toasted sesame seeds. And that is my dish. Today I'm making udon gyoza. I think that Jasmine might like know that I'm attracted to this. It looks fun to make, so she might know it's me. I'm gonna put all of my sauces and seasoning together first. So that is some sesame oil. We've got our oyster sauce here, which is something Jasmine uses a lot. I'm gonna do some soy sauce, some garlic. Jasmine loves garlic. And then I've got some ginger and some salt. I'm just eyeballing that. And 
this is potato starch, which is just gonna act like keep it all together. I found a, a bunch of recipes on Japanese websites and I found one on Bon Appetit. I'm putting my own twist on it, so we'll see how it turns out. I'm gonna give this a taste just to see if I got the flavor right. A lot of potato starch. I feel like this was lacking in ginger flavor and I think I could do even a little bit more garlic. So I'm gonna do pork. This is kind of based off a pork gyoza that she made for our Tasty Time to Cook. Go check out that video. And then I'm adding some green onions. And now I'm adding the kimchi and I'm gonna eyeball this. And now we have our udon noodles. So that's two out of the three ingredients. We're making the filling of what would be in gyoza. And then the udon noodles are kind of acting like the wrapper. And then last thing we're gonna do is add an egg. I think she's gonna like this. I'm also sorry to anyone who's made this before and I'm not doing it right. All right, I think this is looking good. I hope it tastes good. So I am gonna get kind of like a golf ball size in my hand here and make some patties. All right, my patties are ready. I'm gonna take a little bit of oil. What I don't want is these to be super greasy. I feel like Jasmine would be like, ting, bad. We're gonna let that oil heat up. I think the oil is hot enough, but I'm putting in Oh yes. It kind of reminds me of making like a vegetable fritter or any kind of like potato fritter. And I like it to be nice and thin and crispy. Looking good, I'm gonna cover these guys for five minutes and let them cook. There's a chance I turned the heat up too high on these guys. <laughs> oh, okay, great. We got some color. They're like little burgers. <laughs> I'm gonna let this go for three more minutes. These guys are done, so I'm going to Put them on my plate. They're really big. I think they're a little bigger than I initially intended. Okay, I'm gonna move on to my sauce now. For the sauce, I'm gonna be making well, like a kimchi butter sauce. Yeah, I don't think that Jasmine does like butter. Why did she choose it? I, mean, I have some kimchi paste here. I'm gonna add that in. I'm gonna turn my heat down because I don't wanna brown the butter. Jasmine will definitely know it's me if it has brown butter because I love brown butter. And I'm gonna add some soy sauce. We're gonna add some honey for sweetness. Now I'm gonna add in the garlic chili oil. Ooh, salty. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more butter and I'm gonna do a little bit more of the kimchi paste because I feel like it's bringing in the spice and I want a little more spice. I think that's gonna be good. I feel, feel like a seven out of 10 of confidence. That's pretty high. I'm gonna transfer this to my bowl and we're almost done. Oh, it's so cute. We've got the patties on a plate. I'm gonna put the sauce in the middle for our final plating and then I'm going scallions. It's going back and forth, but I don't want this to look sort of pretty. I always love like a cracked fresh pepper on like anything I'm eating and if I did that, Jasmine would like a thousand percent know. To Georgie's black pepper, I, she's definitely gonna think that's me. Today I'll be making okonomiyaki. I know Jasmine pretty well. We eat lunch together a lot. So I feel like I know what she likes and what she doesn't like. I know George is Jasmine's boyfriend and he gets like the inside scoop. As the culinary expert, I think I know better. <laughs> Let's get started. First I'm gonna add two eggs to this bowl and I'm gonna whisk it well. Then I'm gonna add my chicken stock and now I'm gonna add my flour. I'm gonna add some salt. And I'm now gonna fold my other ingredients. I'm gonna start with my carrots, and then I'm gonna add the cabbage. And now I'm gonna add my udon noodles and my kimchi. I eat kimchi a lot and cabbage, but the other ones I don't cook with that often. Now I'm gonna add some oil to my pan, and I'm gonna be generous because I don't want it to stick. And now I'm gonna add some butter for some flavor in here. I know Jasmine loves butter, so She's gonna love that. Now that that's ready, we're gonna add our batter. Make sure it's beautiful and cook that until it's crispy on the bottom and then I will flip it. Honestly speaking, Jasmine likes a lot of things. She's very open to trying different foods. I am like 90% sure she's gonna like this. So I think it's time to flip because it looks like it's set. I'm gonna use this plate. Put it back on there, that way it cooks beautiful. Ta-da! <laughs> I know traditionally this dish doesn't have kimchi and udon, so I just switched up some ingredients in order to include Jasmine's favorite ingredients in here. It smells so good. If Jasmine doesn't like this, I'm gonna be very hurt. First, we're gonna top it with the okonomiyaki sauce. And I'm gonna be pretty generous with this guy. And then we're gonna top it with kewpie mayo. And then we have a dehydrated pork. It's a little bit candied. Gives it a different layer of flavor. And then we have some furikake. And then we have some scallions. And it's all done. 
I hope Jasmine likes this. I will be hurt if she picks someone else's and not mine. I think she might have an idea that this is mine because she knows I like baking and this is sort of like a pancake, but we'll see. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Thank you. Mmm, <gasps> I think it's George. But right off the bat, green onions, I do it just like this. I add corn in my stir fry noodles and I'm seeing some thinly sliced beef. It reminds me of Korean barbecue. He knows I love Korean barbecue. There's mozzarella cheese. He knows I love that combination. Mmm, you can't tell me it's not George. This tastes delicious. This is pretty much exactly how I would make mine with maybe a little less cream and a little less cheese. This is exactly how George would make it. I know, uh, how could it not be him? Good job, babe. Good job. Thank you so much. Wow. That's creative. Wow. Right off the bat, I have no clue who made this. Maybe it's Katie? Mmm. Good job, very good. Is it pork in there? That's very nice. The noodles are nice and bouncy, good crisp. My gut is telling me Katie. She developed tasty recipes for a very long time and that requires her to get really, really creative. This is a very delicious dish. I'm very surprised that with those three ingredients, you were able to conjure up something like this. Thank you. Wow, holy moly. This reminds me of okonomiyaki. Okay, I gotta try this. Right off the bat, I think this is Mimo because she comes from a pastry background, so she's used to making things look um, phenomenal. Mmm, it's delightful. Very good, I love pork so Stand by my final answer. I think it's you, Mimo. I think I've gotten three amazing recipes today that have been super creative and out of the box. I think this one is George's. Oh, I was right! Yes! He knows I always complain about any kimchi dish not having enough kimchi, and like this has a lot of kimchi juice and the corn. Like that's very telltale sign. I guess I know her best. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I know all of you guys the best. <laughs> <laughs> I think this one is Katie's. Oh! oh my God, I knew you would know. I knew. I knew. I know my friends well. Oh I'm so goodness. happy. Come on out, Mimo! Oh my god! I think it's really special because when I'm cooking, I always try to infuse my personality, my identity into my foods, and I feel like I really saw that today. It was like very much proven by your dishes. My favorite, I'm not gonna lie, is this one. Oh, oh yeah! Nice. Why did you choose butter? I love butter. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I said she doesn't like the flavor of butter. <laughs> she, doesn't she doesn't really, really love, love butter. butter. Does it doesn't look like she you like... know her. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, think that Jasmine does, does like butter. Like Free sushi for a week. Even yeah! <laughs> yes! Oh, yes! 